the science guy. Oh hi, I didn't see you guys there. I'm Bill Nye, and today's episode we're going to dive deeper into the realm of antibiotics. But Bill, what are these antibiotics, and how do they even work? That's a good question, my eukaryotic pal. Antibiotics are medicines that target bacteria and prevent their growth and reproduction. So, if antibiotics are so great, can they get rid of viruses too? No, they actually don't work on viruses. They're specifically targeted to bacteria. And if you have a virus and take them, you're actually contributing to antibiotic resistance. What's antibiotic resistance? So this is an example of how antibiotics can affect bacteria. They can affect the cell wall or affect stuff on the inside to prevent cell growth. So here's a group of bacteria. Now keep in mind, Bacteria are tiny organisms. You can't see them with the naked eye. And they're everywhere. And some bacteria, even though they're the same type of bacteria, they're slightly different. For example, this bacteria is antibiotic resistant. So this is what happens when antibiotics is introduced. But why is this one still left over? So this one's left over because it was antibiotic resistant, which means unaffected by the antibiotic. So when this bacteria now reproduces, they will all be resistant to antibiotics. Which means the antibiotics we used originally to defeat these bacteria will not work on these bacteria. But Bill, if the antibiotics don't work, what do we do if we get sick? There's actually not much we can do when antibiotics don't work. That's why people are so scared about antibiotic resistance. Scientists actually spend a lot of time trying to figure out how to make new antibiotics. It's not easy. It costs a lot of money and scientists have to get really creative to find new ones. The hard part is even if they find a new one, the whole cycle repeats itself and the medication won't work after a few years. So is there anything we can do to help? How can we make antibiotics last longer? There are actually lots of ways you can help slow down antibiotic resistance. One easy way is to always make sure you wash your hands with soap and water. Taking everyday steps to stay healthy means you won't need any antibiotics. Today we learned about antibiotics and how they work. Now you know. Thanks for watching. Bill, 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 Bill,